Hey, it's Chris from The Chris Stefanik Show, where we dive into how to live a more joyful life every day in your everyday life, the kind of the life that God dreams of for you. Check it out. So, speaking of the, of the evil one trying to keep us from confession, I, I think we also form lies about ourselves and about God that keep us from redemption. And I think you dealt with a lie that um, your Heavenly Father doesn't love you because of what you did. Mm -hmm. Tell us how you pushed back on that and, and, uh, and the good Padre's advice to you yeah. and the prayer you said. Because I think this could help people who are watching who, who maybe think, this is a great message of redemption, but you don't understand, Chris, I had an abortion and there's no mm -hmm. way God could love me. Or I had five abortions, God couldn't love me. Mm -hmm. How'd you push back on the lie? Well, um, yeah. So um, as wonderful as uh, my first confession was with Father Mel, I really struggled with um, forgiving myself. And so um, uh, uh, our good Padre um, was um, at the house one day and he and I sat down on the patio and we're talking um, about this. And I, I, I told him, I said, I'm having a huge, you know, problem, you know, forgiving myself. And he smiled and he said, well, Shelly, he said, you know, he said, that's a sin in itself. Mm. And um, he said, "Who are you to, you know?" <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I know it was it was amazing. <laughs> so um, he said, "Who are you to not be able to forgive yourself when the Father can?" That, that's, that really, it's telling God mm -hmm. what I did is bigger than what you did for me. Yeah. Whoa. So um, talk about humbling. Yeah. Um, I mean, immediately. Um, it, it's, and it's convicting of another thing, but the con conviction that comes from God, it doesn't beat us down. Right. It's like, go ahead, get up, get up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so um, anyway, uh, my penance, if you will, yeah. um, was um, Padre wrote on a sheet of paper. He said, he, he's writing this prayer and he tells me, he said, I want you to pray this until you believe it. Mm -hmm. And um, so he handed me the piece of paper. I still have it. Um, but it said, Lord, show me how much you love me. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, I did. I prayed it until I believed it and um, mm. tucked it away and um, mm. stays right here with me. So. Praise God. And you probably still have to go back to that and pray it. Every once in a while. Not yeah. on the same thing. But, okay. yeah, there are, there are yeah. Because, you know, I, I find in, in spiritual battles, the devil is always trying to get you to go back to the same old stupid things. Yeah. Play, play the book is not very big. You know, but it's a, it's a matter of, of uh, talking back. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. talking back by, you know, I'm, I'm going to just focus on the truth. I'm going to reiterate the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, say that prayer one more time because I want, if you're watching right now, you're struggling with this, I want you to write this one down. What's the prayer? Lord, Lord show me how much you love me. Show me how much you love me. It's so stupidly simple yep. and life-changingly powerful at the same time. Mm -hmm. Lord, show me how much you love me. Uh, there's something so encompassing about the grace and power of, of redemption. I'm like, when you experience grace in your life, it's like... Mm -hmm. Dude, that's real. It's so powerful that it, God doesn't just build on the good things we do. He actually builds on the wounds. And there's, there's wounds in my own life where it's like these are cracks in, in my person. But God's able to get deeper in me through those cracks <laughs> <laughs> than he would have in my sinful fallen state had I not had those and just been all proud, frankly. And sometimes those cracks are even from our own sin. And I, I love the scripture that God makes all things work out for the good for those who love and serve him. This includes our own stupid past. So I, I, don't, know, I don't know if this is a question for you just to take the prayer and maybe reflect on. Because I, I I uh -oh. asking it makes me want to reflect <laughs> on it. Or if you've got any thoughts right now. But like, how is this experience of, of your own um, mistake, wounds, mm -hmm. redemption, made you the person that you rejoice in being Right now, because I know you like Ooh, yourself. That is that is a hard question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know how to answer that. That's fine. Okay, it's something cool to take <laughs> to prayer. Okay, because I I see it from the outside. It's sometimes easier for your friends to see. You have such a compassion and warmth, and anybody watching who sees Shelly's eyes are just <laughs> beaming. I don't think that's despite what you've went been through. I think it's because of it. I think it's a part of it. Like no one's going to come to Shelly's door who has done something stupid and be turned away. No, no, I would never do that. No, see? That's all part, that's part of it, you, and you can show the Father's love in that way. Man, wasn't that awesome? Be sure to smash the subscribe button.
hit, smash, demolish the subscribe button, however you want to say it, and share it with everybody you know. I get so much out of these conversations. I know you always will too. So come join me in this journey to life to the full, and we'll see you in the next video.